It is about uh, the abdominal aorta and great vessels. The abdominal aorta uh, starts, uh, begins, enter the abdomen at the level of T12. Uh, it is the 12 centim uh, in length and diameter, 2 to 3 centim, and uh, terminates uh, by dividing into two common iliac arteries opposite to the lower part of L4, as we see here. It starts at the level of T12 and ends at the level of L4. Relations of the abdominal aorta. The anterior relations, uh, we have two for the, each of the pancreas, uh, two for intestine, two for veins, and two superior mesenteric. Uh, here we can see anteriorly uh, the body of the pancreas and the ancillate process. Here uh, are the left uh, renal vein and the splenic vein. Here the superior and inferior, uh, superior mesenteric uh, vein and artery. Uh, and uh, also the third part of duodenum and coils of small bowel. Posteriorly, we have the bodies of lumbar vertebra. To the right uh, of the aorta, we can see the IVC, the cisterna chile, the vagus vein, and the right crust of the diaphragm. To the left, uh, the left sympathetic trunk, here we can see it, uh, the left south major muscle, and the left cross of the diaphragm, as you can see here. Abrams, the abdomen uh, have uh, multiple branches, uh, anterior and lateral. There are three anterior unpaired branches, which are the celiac trunk at the level of T12 L1, superior mesenteric artery here uh, at the level of L1, and the inferior mesenteric artery at the level of L3. Also, we have three lateral paired visceral branches, which are the suprarenal or adrenal at the level of L1, renal arteries at the level of L L1, L2, and the gonadal at the level of L3. And also we have five lateral paired parietal branches, which are the inferior phrenic artery and four lumbar arteries, four pairs of lumbar arteries, and also terminal arteries, which are the common iliac artery and the medial sacral arteries. There are multiple subdivisions, uh, three, uh, sub, uh, sorry, multiple subdivisions for the abdominal aorta branches. Uh, we'll uh, start uh, by the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk uh, is uh, divided into, uh, into the uh, right, into the splenic uh, artery to the left which give rise to the left gastroepiblioic, the left gastric, the left gastric artery, and the common hepatic artery. The left gastric artery will uh, give rise to, uh, to the esophageal arteries and the short gastric arteries. And uh, the common hepatic artery will uh, be divided into, common hep into the hepatic artery proper and uh, the gastroduodenal artery. Gastroduodenal artery will be divided into the supra give rise to the supraduodenal and the superior pancreatico duodenal and continue as the right pancreatico uh, right gastroepiblioic artery. And uh, the proper hepatic will give rise to the right and left hepatic arteries, and the right hepatic will give rise to the cystic artery. Uh, here we can see the superior mesenteric artery branches, which we give uh, will give rise to the duodenal arteries, the ileal arteries. Here, the ileo uh, ileocolic artery, which will give rise to the anterior cecal, posterior cecal, and the ventricular artery. And uh, also, we have here the ascent, the uh, right colic artery, and the middle colic artery and here uh, angiogram, which will reveal these divisions. The inferior uh, mesenteric artery will give rise to the left colic artery, which will give rise to ascending and uh, descending uh, branch of left colic artery. 
and uh, also the sigmoid branches or sigmoid arteries and uh, the superior rectal artery. And this uh, angiogram uh, revealed these divisions also. Radiological features, uh, plain film of the abdomen. The aorta is visible only if calcified, and here uh, and uh, the vertebral body erosions uh, are seen due to uh, aortic aneurysm, as we can see here, vertebral erosion, and here are calcified uh, aortic wall. Ultrasound, this is particularly useful for studying aneurysm formation. Can be visualized, uh, the aorta can be visualized posterior to pancreas where it's celiac, uh, celiac and superior mesenteric branches can be easily seen. Aortic diameter about two to three centimeters depending on age and it diminishes and, and as the aorta progresses caudal. Here ultrasound image showing the uh, pancreas, uh, the portal uh, veins, the clinic veins, superior mesenteric artery, inferior uh, vena cava, which will give rise to the left renal vein and the aorta. And this is the vertebral body. This is a zoomed image. This is aorta, this is IVC. And this is a longitudinal scan to the aorta, which will show the aorta and its branches, the celiac and the superior mesenteric artery, which are seen also posterior to the pancreas. This one, multi-slide CT angiography techniques uh, will give contrast loss given at high rate, uh, about four to five mil per second, and rapid scan acquisition of the arterial phase and even tiny branches of the aorta can be visualized. Here, uh, CT angio image, we can see the splenic, uh, the, the hepatic, common hepatic, and its branches, and uh, the, the right renal and left renal arteries. And these are the jejunal branches of the sperm centric artery. MRI, a 3D gadolinium enhanced MRI. Uh, angiogra MR angiography provides uh, high resolution data that can be used to generate projection and geographic images and multiplanarly formatted images. Here, uh, MR angiogram uh, will uh, show the thoracic uh, aorta and abdominal aorta and also its branches, uh, which includes the clinic, uh, hepatic, right renal, left renal. Uh, common iliac uh, vessels and their branches, which are internal and external iliac vessels. Conventional angiography, this uh, the anatomy is best imaged by aortography or selective uh, arteriography of its branches. As you can see here, this is a conventional angiography where uh, the uh, catheter is inserted through the common femoral vein. Uh, which is epithelial catheter to the aorta, abdominal aorta, and contrast is given. Uh, the the aortic branches and their uh, subdivisions will be visualized clearly. Also, this is the splenic, uh, the right, uh, this is the right phrenic artery, uh, hepatic and its branches, and renal left and right, and the jejunal of the spear, branch of the spear mesenteric artery, and common iliac arteries and internal internal uh, iliac arteries. Now we'll uh, talk about the inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava begins uh, by the union of uh, the right and left common iliac veins at the level of L5 uh, posterior to the uh, right uh, common iliac artery. It passes to the right of the aorta as far as T12 level. Termination, it terminates by piercing the central tendon of the diaphragm at the level of T8 and opens in the right atrium at the level of right six costal cartilage. It is bulbless except when it enters the right atrium where there is incomplete semilunar bulb. Relations of the IVC. Anterior relations. Anterior relations uh, will uh, start from downward uh, and to above. Uh, coils of the small intestine. Fruit of mesentery. This is third part of duodenum. 
uh, head of the pancreas, CBD, first part of the duodenum, epiblood, foramen, portal vein. Posterior relations, bodies of lumbar vertebrae, parts of the right adrenal gland, right inferior phrenic artery, right adre uh, adrenal artery, right renal artery, right lumbar arteries, right sympathetic trunk. Uh, to the right of the IBC, we can see the right psoas muscle and the right ureter. To the left of the IBC, we can see the abdominal aorta. Tributaries of the IBC. Tributaries of the IBC include the third uh, and fourth lumbar veins, uh, the right uh, gonadal vein, the right adrenal vein, the right renal vein, sorry, uh, right uh, adrenal vein, uh, small veins uh, to the right and uh, right and caudate loops of the liver, uh, also right uh, and middle and left uh, hepatic veins, right inferior phrenic vein, uh, and the lateral uh, and the left uh, inferior phrenic vein drains to the left adrenal. And the left renal vein, which also receives the blood from the left uh, uh, adrenal and the left gonadal. And here is a better image. Uh, we can see the IVC and uh, its tributaries. Uh, these are the internal and external iliac veins. Uh, and this, these are the third and fourth uh, lumbar veins, uh, the gonadal, right gonadal the right uh, renal, the suprarenal or adrenal, the inferior phrenic, and these are the right, middle, and left hepatic uh, veins. And uh, to the left are the inferior phrenic uh, vein, which, uh, also, which will um, drain into the left uh, gonadal. Uh, the right renal vein, which uh, will receive the suprarenal, the gonadal, uh, and the gonadal artery uh, vein. The first and second lumbar veins are drained into the azygous vein, and the fifth lumbar vein bilaterally will drain into the lateral sacral and the iliofemoral vein. Development. The IVC arises embryologically by a complex series of fusion of a primitive veins as a result of this, its lower tributaries lie posterior to the aorta and its upper tributaries lie anterior to the aorta. Uh, a variation in this development can give rise to several congenital abnormalities of the IVC. It may, for example, duplication below the level of the renal vein, owing to persistence of primitive vein on the left side, persistent left-sided IVC. This may be associated of, uh, failure, with failure of reunion of the common iliac veins. Here you can see uh, left-sided uh, IVC uh, below the level of renal vein and uh, uh, associated with the failure of union of the uh, iliac veins. This is the axial CT scan. Also will show the application and failure of union of the iliac vein. Uh, here uh, axial and, for, and uh, coronal. The IVC may be left-sided as far as the renal veins and then cross over behind the aorta as a continuation of the left renal vein and continue as right-sided IVC through the liver to the heart. Here the IVC uh, left-sided, uh, then uh, it will uh, reach the left renal vein and continue behind the aorta uh, to continue as a right-sided uh, IV, uh, IVC through the liver then to the heart. Occasionally, the IVC is continuous with a much enlarged azygous vein, which carries the, all its blood from um, the blood to the superior vena cava. Okay, uh, this is the, the IVC uh, continuous with the azygous vein and carries its blood to the superior vena cava. So the azygous vein will enlarge. Radiology of the inferior vena cava. 
chest radiograph, uh, the shadow of the inferior vena cava can be identified as it pierces the right knee diaphragm and enters the heart. On a lateral chest film, it identifies the uh, hemi diaphragm as being the right side. Uh, here, a lateral uh, chest x-ray uh, will show the uh, IVC and the right knee diaphragm as it pierces. Cavagraphy, the IVC uh, can be opacified by contrast medium, introduced either simultaneously into the dorsal pedal veins of both feet or via both femoral veins or by catheter that is introduced into the vessel itself. Uh, during the placement of cava filter to prevent pulmonary emboli, it must be established that there is not a persistence of left-sided cava which uh, would require the placement of a second filter in that vessel. This can be established by inducing contrast retrogradely into the left common iliac vein by a Valdaza maneuver. Uh, the renal veins should likewise be identified as the filter should be placed below this. Ultrasound. Ultrasound, uh, here we can see the IVC as it enters the right atrium of the heart uh, posterior to the portal vein. This is the, uh, the right tube of the liver. CT scan, uh, the IVC is uh, seen to the right of the aorta. This is the IVC to the right of the aorta. And uh, it is anterior to the uh, right adrenal gland. MRI, the IVC and its tributaries can be non-invasively visualized by a few corona and sagittal sections uh, without the need for contrast. Here's MRI with the, without contrast. You can see here the aorta and this is the IVC. This is a sad, um, coronal section. <laughs> veins of the posterior abdominal wall. There is a rich uh, venous anastomosis in the lumbar area between lumbar sacral intercostal veins and inferior vena cava via segmental lumbar veins, which drain directly into the cava and the ascending lumbar and the azigal vein. This system usually has a connection with the left renal vein. The internal and external vertebral venous plexuses drain via segmental lumbar veins into the inferior vena cava. The lumbar veins are joined sequentially on both sides of vertebral colon by an ascending lumbar vein, which also extends inferiorly to the lateral sacral and iliolumbar veins. The iliolumbar vein will also drain into the common iliac vein. The ascending lumbar veins ascends on the vertebral bodies at the root of the transverse process deep to the thallus muscle and extends superiorly to the azygous system. Uh, here we can see uh, lumbar and sacral uh, vessels and intercostal vessels uh, will uh, drain into the inferior vena cava and uh, the azygous vein via the segmental, uh, segmental uh, uh, lumbar veins and also the internal external vertebral uh, through the segmental vertebral veins into the IVC. And these segmental lumbar veins will uh, uh, connect uh, by, uh, by uh, ascending lumbar vein, uh, which extends imperially as, uh, to the lateral sacral and ilio, uh, and ilio sacral uh, uh, vein and superiorly to the azygous vein. The azygous vein is a right-sided structure and may arise in one of three ways. It may be simply the continuation of the ascending lumbar vein on the right side entering the thorax with the aorta or by piercing the right crest of the diaphragm. Or it may arise from the left renal vein or from the IVC at the level of the renal vein or it may begin as the continuation of the subcostal vein. Similarly, the hemiazygous vein may arise in different ways. Uh, may, it may be a continuation of left ascending lumbar vein and enter the thorax to the left of the aorta or by piercing the left cross of the diaphragm. 
or it may arise from the posterior aspect of left renal vein uh, and may be the continuation of the left subcostal vein. In congenital absence of the IVC or following obstruction of IVC in ascending lumbar and as I guess means drain uh, blood to the superior vena cava and so it's enlarged. The role of this system in the spread of malignant and other diseases from pelvis to the spine is controversial. It is said to account for the propensity of prostate cancer to spread, uh, uh, to, spread uh, to the sacrum and lumbar vertebrae and for infections arising in the pelvis to seed in the intervertebral disc. Uh, here, uh, the sphere vena cava where it enlarged due to the uh, absence of the IVC. Radiological feature, a CT and the MRI, uh, the ascending lumbar veins and the azygous vein and the hemiazygous vein may be visible deep to psoas distally. Uh, here distally, uh, we can see them distal to the psoas and are identified on either side of the aorta uh, proximally as they pass between the chloride of the diaphragm. These veins are much more easily seen if enlarged as occurs in obstruction of IVC or SVC. And now we'll talk about the lymphatic drainage of the abdomen. Lymph channels in the abdomen travel with the arteries. Most lymph drain to the nodes around the abdominal aorta. These are arranged into four groups. The pre-aortic, which are located anterior to aorta, right para-aortic and left para-aortic, and the retro-aortic, which is posterior to the aorta. All of these drain to the cisterna cali, which is an elongated lymph channel that continue in the thorax as the, as the uh, thoracic ducts. Uh, here we can see, uh, here are the left para-aortic, the uh, two pre-aortic, retro-aortic, our two cable, Orto cable, uh, right para cable, uh, pre cable, retro cable, and celiac axis. Uh, pre aortic lymph nodes. The pre aortic lymph nodes are arranged around the anterior branches of the aorta, which are the celiac trunk, superior mesenteric artery, and the inferior mesenteric artery. Uh, they drain lymph in the areas supplied by these areas, which are the GIT, the liver, gallbladder, uh, pancreas, and skin. And lymph from these viscera pass uh, through visceral nodes, such as the nodes in the, our, in the forte hepatis and nodes near the intestinal wall and along the course of arteries before reaching the pre aortic lymph nodes. Here we can see the celiac lymph nodes, the superior mesenteric lymph nodes, and the inferior mesenteric lymph nodes, which drain lymph from, uh, from the organs uh, which are supplied by the vessels, uh, uh, the vessels uh, related to these nodes. The, the celiac lymph nodes. Uh, these receive the gastric, hepatic, and pancreaticosplenic nodes. Uh, celiac nodes uh, uh, are the divided according to their uh, to the celiac divisions, which are the hepatic, splenic, and uh, left gastric. The left gastric nodes, the yellow one, uh, are uh, seen in the lesser curve and drain the lower esophagus as well as the stomach. These nodes are usually smaller than the paraaortic para group and over eight million considered abnormal. Uh, the purple, uh, the gastro epiblue group lies low on the greater curvature near the pylorus and are related to the uh, right gastro artery. This uh, drain to the pyloric group, the blue one. The hepatic knots are related to the hepatic artery at the porta hepatis and the lesser omentum and the gastrohepatic ligament uh, are variable in size and number and drain the liver and gallbladder, bile ducts, as well as the stomach, duodenum, and pancreas. 
Here are the green hepatic nodes. Pancreatico splenic nodes. Run with the splenic artery and lie above and behind the pancreas and in the gastrosplenic ligaments, they drain the pancreas, spleen, and stomach. Here. Superior and inferior mesenteric lymph nodes. Superior and inferior mesenteric lymph nodes drain the bowel from the duodenal duodenal flexure to the anal canal lymph. Uh, to the anal canal. Lymph drainage from the small bowel is to mesenteric knots uh, from the terminal ileum and colon to the ileocolic knots and from the rectum to the pararectal knots. From here, lymph uh, drains along the arterial supply to more proximally located knots along the ar arterial supply and two knots are the origin of the superior and inferior mesenteric arteries. Uh, here are the mesenteric lymph knots. Superior central lymph nodes, superior mesenteric juxta and spinal lymph nodes, terminal ileum, cecal, aeocolic, right colic, middle colic, uh, and uh, uh, this also, uh, all of them drain into the cisterna chile. Para aortic lymph nodes, these nodes lie on either side of the aorta in relation to its lateral paired uh, branches. They lie anterior to the medial margin of the cells and the crora of the diaphragm. Uh, so they lie to the, uh, here by the psoas muscle, uh, to the anterior margin of the medial border of the psoas, and also the crora of the diaphragm. On the right, the knots lie anterior and on both sides of the inferior vena cava. To the right, and uh, on, on the right side, on the um, both wall of the IVC, uh, which are, are called the aortic cable knots, and the porto cable knot. The porto cable, the porto cable. They receive. And they receive lymph from posterior abdominal wall, uh, diaphragm, kidneys, adrenal, and gonads. Lymph from the legs drain via the deep inguinal and external and common iliac knots. While lymph from pelvis drain via the internal and common iliac knots. These are the para aortic lymph nodes, right? And retro aortic lymph nodes. No particular area drain to it, and they are posteriorly placed nodes of the uh, of the lateral group lies between the aorta and vertebral bodies. So any mass uh, will be seen there. Uh, are uh, su suggested to be lymph nodes and large lymph nodes. Systemic IE, this is uh, a thin wall sac, six millim wide and six cm long, really uh, dilated proximal end of the thoracic duct before it passes uh, through the aortic hiatus of the diaphragm. So this is the, the cisterna chile, which is the dilated sac, uh, uh, proximal uh, sac of the thoracic duct before it enters the diaphragm, the aortic hiatus. It lies in front of the bodies of L1 and L2 to the right of the aorta. Uh, the cisterna chile receives the intestinal trunks, the right and left lumbar trunks here, and the pair descending intercostal. The trunks. Radiological features of abdominal lymphatics, CT and MRI. Uh, the normal lymph nodes appear as V shaped and uh, long axis parallel to the direction of the drainage. Pathologically enlarged lymph nodes uh, are round and uh, lost their fatty hilum. Here we can see a normal lymph node, which is the longitudinal and contain hyaluron. Lymphography. It is rarely performed, and it is the only technique can demonstrate lymphatic channels and internal nodal architecture. Contrast is injected to the feet uh, lymphatic vessels for visualization of the lymph channels and nodes of the posterior abdominal wall. By this method, this group can be seen. Deep inguinal lymph nodes, external iliac nodes, common iliac nodes. Paraaortic lymph nodes are seen as right and left lumbar 
chains of knots along the tip of the transverse processes of the L2 level where they drain to the systemic hyaline. On AP view, distance between the lateral border uh, of the vertebral body and most lateral lymph nodes should not be greater than 2 cm. On a lateral view, the distance between the anterior border of the T12 L2 vertebra and lymph node or systemically should be less than 3 cm. Risk of pulmonary embolism of oily contrast. This is the uh, lymphangiogram, which will uh, show the lymphatic uh, duct. And this is a lymphogenogram, which show the lymphatic oh, nodes, no, no, the lymph nodes. Thank you. Any questions? And so, I'm Number one. هي موتي عدت شنو كويز وين هي كلها طالعه الاجوبه. اي يعني ما ما اعرف انا سويتها. احكي لهم على الصوره احكي لهم مثل الستايل. احكي لهم على الصوره احكي لهم. اشري لهم حتى تبقى ببالهم ماكو مشكله. اشري على الاوف الاعداد اشري على الصوره هذا الايورتا. كيليا كاكسيز سوبيرير ميزين تريك يلا. Uh, uh, this is the celiac trunk, and uh, this is the left gastric artery. This is the splenic, uh, the common name hepatic, the gastroduodenal, uh, the uh, proper hepatic, which will give rise to the right, and uh, left uh, hepatic artery. Uh, this is the, the uh, duodenal branches of the superior mesenteric uh, artery. Mm -hmm. Uh, or left renal or uh, no, I'm not going to renal. Okay. left renal. I don't know how to write it. How the measure, you know, how the? How the? Hey, how the? Juginal branches of the. No, not how the juginal. On the other side, on the other side. How the? The iliocolic. Right, iliocolic artery. Bob, how the right iliocolic. اوكي عندي شو بعد؟ نعم اوكي بوب رافي اوسو ذيس از ذا فيرست لمبر فيرتبرا نمبر 1 فيرست لمبر فيرتبرا تو ذا هيباتيك فين نمبر 3 ذا رايت رينال فين فور ذا ليفت رينال فين 5 ليفت لمبر رايت لمبر او 6 ليفت لمبر فين الفيرست والسكند لمبر وين يروحون للازاقص مو صحيح؟ والليفت تو ذا تو ذا لاترال لا ساكرال مال اذا هذا اي في كيفوجرام كيفوجرام وشفنا الايرتوجرام اكو بعد عندك شيء؟ نعم شو عجبتي هذه مال 